Nanama, a Pala Shadeda, a Radepoko Sata, a Latayata Leketena, Mazeretete, a Shabala Bakayatada, a Rabakatayatada, a Reto Sotoda, Mena Nika Padi Adosha, a Lessize Reteke Etoja, a Lagabayata, Malatada, a Peledosete, a Paruse Prata Yande, Malagabaya, a Legade Belekete, Parataya Kalapata, a Copania, Meno Sepelia. Ya dobo shatada erekte keleke ratapalia pege de lege do sata mantala baya e paru se beke yata ela dege de magala prata ela to shatada malata yatada e ke parisa preto zeyande makapala e delege do sata pekarisa ta magala kata e kaparia bada meloso toma magakata yata ende rede belege de pele Sotada, prete yatada, feta liba tabaya shata, alazi gede, mandelelele bo shadia, erete lete, pagateta, pelose pati yatada, ala reke mana, maluse palia shata, areka palaza yata, alepo rosotoda, makata yata, peleteda, erete teda, alida nina noza, e paliatada, makopala kata, e ketele predede, retele Palize Eano Shata, Aleke Taylor, Marasa Teda, Alato Ziatada, Macapala, Erete Panem. Yanama Shatada, Elekat Kiatosa, A Tete Lebreteete, Macapaliosa, Eveto Shate, Mampeletende, A Cateleketela, Paratada, Ekatosa, A Lepariaza, Eretelete, Macatada, Pesete, Padu Shata, A Palekete, Malaze, A Reto Shatada, Eleketene, Mandise, Rekete, Arusha Baliada, Jesus, we thank you, Jesus, we we thank you Jesus we thank you I like us to lift up our voice tonight and say thank you to God for the past 20 days he has been helping us he has been leading us he has been meeting us at the point of our knees lift up your voice this morning and say thank you to Jesus for the miracles for the signs for the wonders for the great deliverances that he has wrought in your life in our lives in our midst in our nations father we thank you Jesus tonight we have come to say thank you we have come to say thank you we have come to say thank you we are like that one leper that has come back to say thank you to say thank you to say thank you for the terrible things in righteousness that you have done in the past 20 days Jesus we thank you Jesus we thank you Jesus we thank you we acknowledge that no man could have done it we acknowledge that no flesh would have done it but you alone you alone you alone you deserve the glory you deserve the honor you deserve the praise so tonight we have come to render praise to render thanksgiving because indeed you are worthy of our praise you are worthy of all we can give and even much more Jesus we thank you Jesus we thank you we raise our voices we raise our hands we raise our hearts we raise our songs we raise our dance in thanksgiving thank you Jesus 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 no flesh can glory no flesh can take the glory only you Jesus only you Jesus oh reke penia oh shatabala katada we thank you God we thank you God we thank you God we thank you God thank you Jesus thank you Jesus thank you Jesus thank you Jesus malegere dosia e repata e pakata e manosia tada shatelegete kananosata oh we count our blessings we name them one by one indeed we can see what you are doing we can see what you have done shatere bakosa mandelege de boshadia thank you God thank you Jesus thank you Jesus thank you Jesus Thank you, Jesus. All around the world, uh, we say thank you. From the north to the south, from the east to the west, we say thank you. From Africa to Asia to Antarctica to Australia to North America to South America, we say thank you.
you. Thank you, God. So you're up, Jesus. We say thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. 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 We can never get tired of saying thank you again and again. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Oh, we give you glory. We give you glory. We give you glory. We give you glory. We give you praise. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. We bless your name, oh God. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be your name, oh God. of your lips Psalm 122 Psalm 107 verse 22 I beg your pardon Psalms 107 verse 22 Psalms 107 verse 22 we're going to proclaim this very quickly Psalm 107 verse 22 remember that we've been speaking about what sacrifice say sacrifice say sacrifice you know, and, and I did a teaching in church about two or three weeks ago, and we spoke about sacrifice first and foremost of your body, of your life. Amen. Romans 12 talks about what? Offering, presenting yourselves as what? Living sacrifices. Okay. We spoke about sacrifice from the standpoint of the covenant. All right. Psalm 50 verse 5 Gather my people unto me, those who have what made a covenant unto me. How? By sacrifice. A, a, a covenant is enacted by sacrifice. Hallelujah. So we began to speak about sacrifice and we said, you know, that our faith is really about sacrifice. Jesus, the ultimate sacrifice. Amen. So we said, 
our bodies are what first God is more interested in where your song is coming from than the song itself David said the sacrifices of the Lord are what a contrite heart and what a broken spirit amen that will he not despise all right so your body is first a sacrifice and then we spoke about sacrifice from the standpoint of what of our sound say sound amen the bible talks about the fruit of our lips hebrews what 13 15 i believe 13 15 amen by him therefore let us what offer what the sacrifice of our praise continually that is the fruit of our lips giving thanks to him we also said your, your service to god your good works inspired by faith not dead works not the ones you do to to try to get his love because he's already loved us with an everlasting love the service we do out of response of his goodness amen amen and then we spoke about sacrifice from our substance but tonight we want to emphasize the sacrifice of our lips to give him thanks amen Luke 17 Luke 17 Luke 17 Luke 17 from verse 12 to 17 and then we'll read Psalm 107 verse 22 which is our core text tonight is actually the most important I know the, the festival was big and glamorous and you know just glorious but I'll show you from the scripture Jesus had a mini service 11 people he and what 10 lepers he had a healing service hallelujah like we had what hallelujah festival yesterday see what happened and as he entered into a city a certain village then met him what 10 men that were lepers so he had a healing service 11 people plus himself <laughs> what happened go ahead verse 13 and they lifted up their voices and said Jesus master have mercy you see it's always easy to lift up your voice when you're asking him very easy they lifted up their voice and when he saw them he said unto them go show yourselves unto the priest and it came to pass that as they went they were cleansed and how many of them only one came back so if we were to take that as a principle, it would mean that 10% of people normally come back to say thank you. And when he saw that he was healed, so they were healed. Those ones who went probably went to throw a party, went to town. You know, because those days, lepers were not allowed in the midst of people. So perhaps it was like, you know what, after a long time, let's, let's go do our thing. But this other one turned back. <laughs> say turn back with the same loud voice that he asked and interceded with a loud voice tonight you will lift up a loud voice and did what glorified God you see he that offered sacrificial thanksgiving glorifies me Psalm 50 and he fell down on his face at his feet give him what thanks and he was a Samaritan. In other words, he was not even a very spiritual person. And Jesus answering and said, Were there not ten cleansed? In other words, he expected them to come back. But where are the nine? See, where are the nine? See, I'm part of the one. I'm part of the one. And see the blessing. See the blessing. Go to verse 18. They are not found that return to give glory to God save this stranger so when we give thanks to god we're giving him what glory and i see every time he who takes the glory fights the battles i heard someone say that and he said unto him arise go thy way thy faith had made thee whole he tied thanksgiving to faith so there was healing there was wholeness there was perfection tonight is a night is the night of perfection so when it's time, because we're going to enter into the Thanksgiving part, this is not the Thanksgiving part. I mean, of course, we're going to praise and minister to God 
But when our brother comes with his team, you will give thanks, you will dance. Because he knows how to do that, to get us to really be exuberant. And that's why I got him. I was ministering one of those nights, and his name just came up. I don't call people by accident. So he's here. Celebrate him and his team. So tonight, whatever was done will be perfected today. Tonight is a night that you would really unleash that which God has done in your life. And tonight we are going to do a lot of things. I'm spending time to, to give the context. So prepare to extend a little bit. I know it's, it's sacrificial, but it is worth it. It is worth it. And then my pastor will come on at the very end online just to give the Father's blessing. We never live without the Father's blessings. Amen. I understand the power of prophetic blessing. I don't joke with my pastor and the prophets over my life. I don't do it. I'm not a big boy. No, no, no. I have covering. I have people who speak over my life. Of course, I know that they are manipulative, you know, all sorts of, you know, manipulation around. But I have a good father. Amen. You know, who just gives us wings to fly. So it's going to speak over every one of us and bless the team. At the very end, we'll, we'll get the entire team here to go on our knees and you will minister to us. You pray for us. Say pray for us. Paul said pray for us. I know that I heard that they said a man of God said no, only men of God pray for people. I said thank God. You pray for us. Say you pray for us. It's there in the Bible. You pray for us. Paul said pray for us that the door of all trans be opened unto us. Pray that we'll be delivered from what wicked and unreasonable men. Say pray. You pray for us tonight. And one other thing I want to share because I'm not going to talk any other thing I'm going to say will be just proclaiming the blessing of God. God is on Hallelujah challenge. Say God is on Hallelujah challenge. Prior to this event, by the way, I'm raising an altar of thanksgiving for one of my friend's child. I heard a testimony. She went on an excursion. You know, I visited them abroad and this girl fell from 20 feet how she did not land on her head had been at their house ministering to them before I came sometimes when we do things we don't know that God has sent you ahead I was in their place in the US raising an altar of worship how she landed on her back rather than the head bones broken but the recovery they, they left her for dead I was sent the picture two days ago I said, who? Is this not my daughter I saw in the U.S.? I had to call because I was busy. That girl is alive. Already walking. So my thanksgiving today is raising an altar of thanks on her behalf. And trusting God for her perfection. Hallelujah. But prior to that, I was preparing for this meeting. And then I had made a mental note of something I wanted us to deal with, with God had put on my heart. I remember the word I gave on Olu of something. I don't know if you remember that years ago. And I said God was dealing with the Midianites. And he happened to be our brother, you know, the Olu of worry. You know, God came through for them. I remember that word again. The Midianites came. But for some reason, God just allowed me to forget it. And while on the bed, meditating, a brother whose name I don't like to call well known sent me a voice note of a testimony of someone who confirmed the prophetic word here. I won't mention the particular prophetic word because the person is highly pleased. And then I remembered the word on the media and I said the media night. Remember we talked about the economy and all. You, it would interest you to know that the, the media night spirit is a spirit amongst other things that deals with the economies of God, God's people. Let's go to Judges 6. Judges 6. New Living Translation. Give me verse from verse 3. God is here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. From verse 3. Go from verse 2. From verse 2. So they are a very cruel enemy of the Jews. In this context, you and I want to go. The Midianites were so cruel that the Israelites made hiding places 
for themselves in the mountains caves and strongholds verse 3 whenever the israelites planted what their crop marauders from midian amalek and the people of the east would attack israel camping in the land and destroying what their crops as far away as gaza they left the israelites with nothing to eat taking all the sheep goats cattle and donkeys these enemies hordes coming with what their livestock and tents were as thick as locusts they arrived on droves of camels too numerous to count and they stayed until the land was stripped bare everything that has attacked your economy your life go to seven let's see how they were judged go to seven it will interest you how the bible works because we're going to sound the trumpet judges chapter 7 go to verse 21 let me see judges 7 21 i'm setting a context for tonight continue continue for me continue 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 please continue continue Is, oh sorry go to verse 7 there's a part that talked about at midnight quickly quickly help me quickly you found it 819 819 719 sorry 719 719 719 want to go it was just what after midnight and after the changing of the guards when gideon and the hundred men with him reached the head of the midianite camp suddenly they blew the ram's horn and broke their pleasures and what happened as they blew the horn then all three groups blew the horn or the trumpet and broke their jars they held the blades blazing touches in their left hands and the horns in their right hand and they all shouted a sword of the lord and of gideon what happened each man stood at his position around the camp and watched as all the midianites rushed around in panic shouting as they ran to escape what happened when the 300 blew the ram's horns the lord caused the warriors in the camp to fight against each other with their sword those who were not killed fled to places as far as Belshita near Zerara and to the border of Ebel Melaho near Tabot. Let's leave there tonight as we blow the horn. After Brother Emmanuel does thanksgiving, will come and blow the horn. Median, the Midianite spirit in your life shall be judged. I say, it shall be judged. If you go to that verse 6, the Bible says, go to verse 1, go to verse 1, chapter 6, verse 1. I'm preparing your heart, please. Then Israelites did evil in the Lord's eyes, so the Lord handed them over to the world, the Midianites, for seven years. But what have the verse 2? Then the Midianites, verse 3 says that God sent them, I think so, somewhere they said god sent them a prophet tonight we come as a prophetic voice verse 8 the lord sent what a prophet to israelites he said this is what the lord the god says i brought you out of slavery so i come as a prophet tonight bearing the ram's horn after our sacrifice of praise we will officially drown the midianites whatever the midianite spirit is in your life Destroying your economy, destroying your family, destroying your marriage, destroying your children. As we raise praise tonight, as we raise the trumpet sound, the Midianites shall be judged tonight. They shall be judged tonight. Are you ready to praise God? Are you ready to praise? Somebody shout hallelujah! Somebody shout hallelujah! Somebody shout hallelujah! To you, Lord, be all the glory.
up to come and dance here. Do you know? You come and dance here. Where are my American people come and dance here?
Pastor Emma, oh my God. Let's get his team. Let's change God as our, as our band, you know, changes. Let's welcome with a good God bless you. Minister Emma, what? Oh Who did it? Jesus. Wow! Amen. As they, as they get prepared, as they come up the stage, I want to say something on my heart, you know. Please, where is the team? So let them come. When a seed is sown, the devil comes to steal the seed. You remember what? The parable of the sower. The devil comes to steal the seed. After the hallelujah challenge, say, guard your seed. Guard your seed. Doctors will tell you, the most important time in pregnancy is what? The first word? Trimester. Now, after the hallelujah challenge, as I have often noticed the pattern, the devil will stir up people on the internet, blogs, to, you know, quote us out of context and say stuff. Don't get into, don't feed, you see? This is the, the dispensation of content on, in, on internet. People make money from content, more so negative content, stories, gossips. They'll tell you, dress like your miracle is crazy, it's not scriptural. By the way, it's scriptural. Say scriptural. scriptural. We call those things that are not as the what? Yeah. At the margin, Canaan of Galilee, they ran out of wine. Jesus told them to act their miracle. He said, fill the water just with what? Water. With water. Amen. Amen. So don't get into all that argument about money and stuff because don't be sucked into, don't feed those blogs, don't feed those people. All right? Don't be distracted by whatever they will say. Just focus on what God has done. The character of halal is such that, you know, halal actually means to be foolish, clamorously foolish before God. So let people think we're crazy, dancing all night, looking, dressing. You know, this God wants to do something, dressing like your miracle. Leave them. Amen. Amen. Make sure you guard your seed. Say, guard your seed. Yes. Let no devil steal your seed. Remember, after the Thanksgiving session, you know, we're going to come and blow the trumpet. Our pastor will come, bless us, and bless you. End it officially and release us to that new season. And then you will pray for us. Don't go without praying for us. Amen. Let's welcome our brother to lead us in a time of thanksgiving. God bless you, sir. 
Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, I've always said something before today that I don't believe in coincidences, yeah? And if coincidence was supposed to happen anywhere, it wouldn't be on the Hallelujah Challenge platform. Today is a very significant day, and I believe God brought me here as a signal for something. You know, um, the Bible says in the book of Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11, that God's thoughts towards us are of good and not of evil to bring us to an expected end. That expected end is what you expect, you know. And we're already there with all the thanksgiving we are giving today. But what God is now doing, because... So first of all, this is an evidence of answered prayer on Hallelujah Challenge. A prayer that night of favor with Pastor Nathaniel and um, Apostle Selman in February. This is it being brought reality in my life, you know. And I know, I know what I prayed, the things I prayed for, and you know, a lot of testimonies are still going to come, you know, and they are already there that they are coming, you know. So I know the things I prayed for, but now this manifestation is God now saying, ah, so this is all you can think of. And he brought things that I could not imagine. And that is what is going to be happening here tonight. That, that you expected and God is going to catalyze it with Ephesians chapter 3 verse 20. That says, beyond what you can imagine, beyond what you think is good for you, he's going to give you that extra jar tonight as you praise him and as you thank him. And um, today we are going to be very percussive. The drums is going to be praising God, you know. Ogi Makonga, I don't finally meet you. <laughs> Let's start this way. Full meaning. So, what the drum is going to be saying is, Ayera yelo kiki. Ayera yera gabomi. It means the everlasting father. The, the, the most famous father is covering me. Oh, yeah, full meaning. Ayera yelo kiki. Ayera yera gabomi. Somebody say, oh my God. Shout hallelujah. Because I know that this is an international audience. I will pity you. I will not do too much, Yoruba. We will do English. So let's start this way. Say, go. Rios. Go. Presence of the Lord, singing Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah. There is joy, joy, joy in the presence of the Lord. Yeah, yeah. singing Hallelujah. So let us dance, so let us dance and celebrate, dance and celebrate, dance with joy unto the Lord. So let us dance, so let us dance. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I want my Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey. To God. Most high. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To God. Hawaii,
saw something in the Bible recently that blew my mind. Can you please open to the book of Psalms 113? Chapter 4, um, um, Psalms chapter 113, verse 5 and 6. Na, 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 na. Explaining now why God is. It says, Who is like unto the Lord our God, who dwelleth on high? The next verse. And he humbles himself to behold the things that are in heaven and in earth. Another version says, He stoops down to look upon the heavens and the earth. That means his dwelling place is even higher than the heavens. Say your name, 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 your name. There is nothing we cannot do. To the right, to the left, to the right, to the left, to the right, to the left, to the to the front, to the back, to the front, to the front, to the front. To the front. I said, there is no mountain we cannot do. There is no prayer he cannot answer. Yeah. There is no problem he cannot solve. Yeah, yeah. If he has said it, then he will. He has a track record of keeping his body. Oh, yeah, so we met on the road. Somebody shout hallelujah. Alpha, Omega, hey, beside me, there is no other God. Alpha, Jesus, yeah, 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 yeah. Hey. I want to prophesy. Even the highest of, the highest of heavens cannot contain you. It will not even go at you. And the Alpha, Alpha and Omega, beside me, there is no other God. Alpha, Jesu, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Beside me, there is no other God. Oh yeah, the Alpha, Omega, you are worthy of my praises today. You are worthy of my praise Alpha Jesu Hey, you are worthy of my praise You are worthy of Let me take us way back, way back, way back In the days of old Because God is the same yesterday, today and forever 
I will quickly sing one Yoruba song that is like this. One in 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 one Ava <laughs> Because all things bright and beautiful, all creatures great and small, all things wise and wonderful, the Lord God made them. I know. As king and saying we were once lost in the circles of our sins, but now so God, but now God has set us free by the blood of his son. Somebody say Jesus. Jesus. Hey, Jesus Hey, she, 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 hey, she
Let's no call like Jehovah. Let's no call like Jehovah. Let's no call like Jehovah. Let's no everybody, everybody, sir. Everybody. Bring it up, Hold it, man. Hold it, man. Come on. Let's no call like Jehovah. Let's no call like Jehovah. Let's no everybody, man, man. Let's no call. Continue, continue. Women, this is what you will sing. You will say, Oh, see, Father, to God, husband, Open my eyes now. God just opened my eyes now. I walked in here and my spirit was just enlightened. Wherever you are, by God, I feel the Holy Ghost. I sense His, His grace. Just dance towards your screen, your phone, as your own thanksgiving. Those of you believing God for a child, dance like you're coming for a baby dedication, thanksgiving of some sort. Act like he has already done it because he has already done it. As he sings, just act it. You know, hold your baby, hold your spouse, your keys, whatever it is. And in your space, just dance towards your TV set, your phone. Act it because this is a Thanksgiving service. Sorry, my brother. All hail the back of Jesus. Shout hallelujah, shout hallelujah to the Lord several times. Yeah, hallelujah. 
So that dance you just did now, there's a name for it in the spirit. It's called Holy Ghost Cardio. And we will do it now. Oh, yeah, so we go. My head, my shoulder, my knees, my toe, my head, my shoulder, my knees, my toe, my head, my shoulder, my knees, my toe. They are, you are receiving your healing as you are seeking it. My, my head, my shoulder, my knees, my toe. My toes, my neck, my shoulder, my knees. Hey, oh yeah, so we be in the middle. Yeah, what a man! God has exalted him to the highest place, and He has given him a name that is above all else. That are the name of Jesus. Every knee shall bow. Whatever the name of your sickness is, they bow to Jesus now. Hallelujah, yeah, 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 oh, oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hallelujah, oh. Hallelujah, oh. Say Jesus is my savior. Jesus is my savior. Say Jesus, I thank you. Jesus, I thank you. Say Jesus, I thank you. Jesus, I thank you. If you before I pray, the over me sing and me. Yeah, so may you go. God is about to uplift some of you to a level where they will be investigating you. Rikasa, because it will be beyond human reasoning. You will now we say, people they ask me, say, waiting they make me shout. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just did that. Run 
see the righteous running to it and they Oh yeah, blessed, 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 blessed be the name of the Lord. Hey, hallelujah. Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. Most high. Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And the name of the Lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. When the spirit of the Lord is upon my soul, let me show you what it is. Sorry, I'm a mother. Let me share. If I do this, she be my bad. No need If I am a bad, if I bad, she be my bad. Oh, yeah, Give my young pa, 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 give my young If I say who is your daddy, you say Jesus is my daddy. Are you ready? I say who is your daddy? I'm a papa le miche. And it, who is your daddy? Jesus is my daddy. Hey, Jesus is my daddy. Jesus is my daddy. Oh yeah, Jesus, 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 Jesus. Oh. Jesus. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Oh. So the people who got it. Ah, thank you, Jesus. Once before we continue, there's something I'm left for us to do. Hey, we want to declare Jesus as king. You would imagine. That is sitting on his throne. You know the way they describe the throne in Revelation chapter 4. Imagine it's in your front. And once I shout, one, two, three, you prostrate and say, Carpius, yo. After this song, kill it, who Again, 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 again. Who do it three times? When you pay, he let who fall on me. Yeah! One, two, three, come! Yes, yo! All the walls of Jericho before you are falling at this moment. For the last time, let's go again. My son, Zadi, can tell your boss, I tell you about that. Remember? With your own effort, one, two, three, go! Hey! 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 Hey!
your name into this one. We used to say angels are singing, but the angels are our servants. When it comes to talking to our Lord, we can do it better ourselves. So I say, Emmanuel is singing to our Lord. I am singing, oh, yet today my Lord is singing. I see for a new one, we are singing, oh, hallelujah, talent, we are singing, oh. We are singing, oh, oh yeah. shout hallelujah to the Lord forever. Hey.
they go, let's pray the prayer. We pray for all our guests. Stretch forth your hands. Say, over this ministry, over our brother, upgrade, upgrade, next level. Open your mouth and fire. Let's release that grace we have here. Because he has honored us and honored God here. We push him by prophecy to the next level. Upgrade. Upgrade. Let the gates of the nations be open to you. Experience torrents of God's favor. In the name of Jesus. From tonight, the Lord amplifies your voice. The Lord amplifies your voice. The Lord amplifies your voice. You can never leave the same way that you came. Amen. The Lord bless you. Amen. The Lord keep you. Amen. The Lord be gracious unto you. Amen. May he lift up his countenance upon you Amen. and show you his shalom. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Celebrate them. Woo! Now, like we normally do, we are going to give him an offering. You see, I was saying to someone today, please don't log off or don't log out. Which of them is correct? Both of them are being off. But there's something called poetic license here. Yeah. Amen. I was saying to someone today, I want God to bless me so much. When people like this or ministers come to, you know, the people who, did, I've said this before, the people who's, who's seen death and mess people up and destroy lives, you know, have so much. Of course, I mean, money is not everything. But we want to be able to have people like this come here. When we give them an offering, they will take it. Amen. For one month, just relax. And just study and pray at home. And we'll get there. Amen. God bless you, my brother. So please, we'll put up his pictures and account details on the website. We'll bless him, but go ahead to bless him. Amen. God bless you, our brother. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. Now... Our pastor is, is connected, but we'll take him last because it's the final thing we'll do. Amen. Amen. Now, I want you to take your journals in this atmosphere of gratitude. Every prophetic word you can remember that we release from this altar. I remember winning streak. I remember it is sorted. I remember great grace. I remember grace, grace. I remember what? New season. New season new beginning now for the next one minute i want you to take your journals and begin to prophesy them speak them say lord i thank you for these words they begin to manifest loud everybody loud you have to wage war with the word of prophecy you have thank you because as the hallelujah challenge ends today for this year, it only begins a season of manifestation. Open your mouth and it begins a season of manifestation. These words will not become a proverb in my life. They will not become a proverb in my life. They begin to come to pass speedily. Prophesy speedy manifestations. Keep praying. I heard a testimony of a woman today who said in, from the UK, an unplanned promotion happened. She received the word yesterday. Strange promotions. She just got an email. Speedy manifestation. You've got to open your mouth wide. Please, I know what I'm saying. You don't wait for prophetic words to come to pass. You enforce them to pass. You enforce them to pass. If I were you believing God for a baby, I would name my baby right now. Call them by name. I will name my promises. Say, Father, I give thanks for this and this and that. I thank you for great grace. Say it is done. Now I'm going to lead you in some direction. Say it is done. It is sorted. I declare. I enter a season 
of winning streak. Victory will meet victory in my life. Winning will meet winnings in my life. Grace will meet grace. Favor will meet favor. Honor will meet honor. Answers will meet answers. Say, I declare from Psalms 30, 11, His word says to me that He has turned my mourning into dancing. He has taken off my sackcloth and gathered me with gladness. I experience turnarounds, positive turnarounds from today in the name of Jesus. It is done. Grace has started it. Grace is sustaining it. Grace has completed it. Say grace has started it. Grace sustains it. Grace completes it. Say grace starts it. Grace sustains it. Grace completes it. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Very quickly so I don't forget. If you are not born again. Did you experience the joy we experience here? I came in here, I'm like, this is a Holy Ghost club. But no cigarettes, no alcohol, no hangovers, no emptiness. The, the only smoke here is the cloud of God's glory. Sweet smelling savor. That's because we have what is called joy unspeakable and full of glory. Because the Holy Spirit lives inside of us. You can be a part of that. I beg you tonight, don't log out of this broadcast without committing your life to Jesus. This is the gospel that God came. He became a man. He humbled himself and became obedient to death. He, he was crucified so that through his death, you will be saved. Death is not just dying physically. Death is to be eternally separated from God. A hopeless in eternity. I mean, there's no, there's no, what's this thing when you're in prison? You know, and there's no parole. No parole. If you were locked up in prison for a thousand years, there'll still be hope. Because after a thousand years, but imagine forever without God. The pain and torment of hell. That shouldn't be any man's portion. Jesus is the way. He's not just a way. He's the way. Let me say it boldly with, without apology. Yeshua HaMashiach is the way, the truth, and the life. No man can come to the Father except through him. And I bring you Jesus. All you need to do is confess him and believe him. And you will, on the integrity of his word, be saved. Lift up your right hand. Say with me, Lord Jesus, I come to you. I have heard your word. I believe you are the son of God. I believe you came to this earth to die for me. Thank you. I acknowledge I am a sinner. I cannot save myself. So right now, save me by the power in your blood. Wash me. Break the power of sin. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. And write my name in the book of life. I confess you as my savior and more importantly my lord i am born again in jesus name father according to the word of their confession i declare them saved to the uttermost in jesus name put your hands together for our new brothers and sisters your life can never remain the same please if you look to the screen you will find a barcode and a link it is very important you fill this form we will connect with you and give you some information after the challenge just right after the challenge the follow-up team would begin there we, we we have about close to 50 young people and their job is to meet with you on zoom help you you know show you some new things about the, your faith over a few weeks and then I'll come on the last day to give you a blessing. We'll send you a Bible free of charge. We'll send you some publications and then we'll help you we'll recommend Bible believing churches around the world that you can go. It's important that you are planted 
in a church. Those who are planted in the courts of our God are those who flourish. Amen. So congratulations one more time. Now, I must say a big thank you. A few things we'll do. Um, I'm going to give some thanks to our partners and friends. And then we would declare judgment about what the media nights would sound the trumpet. And then my pastor will come with the Father's blessing. No, no. You will bless us, pray for us, and then our pastor will just crown it. And then we'll have a five minutes after party. Amen. Amen. Um, Jesus here. By the way, on the 5th of November, we'll be releasing Jesus here live. The recording is mind blowing. We had it some time ago. So get ready, get ready to stream and share. It would bless you. And then following after that will be Yahweh Sabbath. And then we have some strings of new songs. You know, the river recording, they will bless you. All right. So um, we want to thank our, just before we thank our partners, you've given so much. We, we, we are so grateful. Thank you for giving to the Hallelujah Challenge. Thank you for giving to the team. You know, we sent an offering to the team. They were so blessed and they say thank you. Tell them thank you. You, you see, their dance was different today. They, you know, they turned more because uh, there was a heavy downpour on them. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Thank you. Um, a lot of you offered to, you know, pay chicken school fees, but we have enough in our account to sort that out. So, don't bother. I've told and Chike knows because of the way he's trained, he, he said he did not give out his account number. He can't even try it without, you know, so we're not trained to just take monies like that. We've got to be orderly. Well, we have enough in the account to sort out the school fees. So his school fees, his master's, right? What's the school again? Abraka, where we school? <laughs> MBA. <laughs> master's of business administrator. He's a lawyer, by the way, amen. <laughs> he's a lawyer, so amen. Is a lawyer, but he wants to do an MBA, so that's fully paid for. Amen. Put your hands together for them. So, thank you, those who offered me the Lord honor you. Um, I think one or two persons sent, I think somebody sent a thousand dollars. A friend of us from Ghana, a doctor friend, they've been offering me the Lord bless you. See, there's you see, you guys just make me so proud. When we say give, people are just begging to give. People have hounded me to say, Pastor Nad, Apostle said, put your number. It is I beg the Apostle that my consecration is I won't flash my, and he agreed, so I won't still do it. Amen. <laughs> so um, if you're interested, you would write the team, and they would send you the details. Some, it's just a form to fill, just for order. I mean, that's just my personal, because it's, it's not wrong for others to do that. And you've also blessed the minister. So we have the uh, details on screen. Um, please um, bless them. You know, I, I, I believe in the total gospel. Jesus says if you leave father and mother and lands, you know, for his sake, you will get what? Hundredfold in this world. The reward is not just in heaven. You know, we... When our ministers are blessed, they will minister better. So we believe in that gospel. So please go ahead and bless them because after the challenge, one day after we will take that information off. We don't want to keep it indefinitely. We want to thank Simons, Coopers, Partners, Showgear, iFix, Carol Films, Evently, Premium Trust Bank, Zenit, Instagram, Facebook, MixLR, YouTube, our security men, we have, you know, policemen who have been there, you know, our security guys who wait, you know, people sent us food, clothes, um, Stanley and Ezine, all the billboards you saw in Lagos and everywhere, you know, who else again, let me, I won't forget, Eco Hotel and Suites, you know, you know, helped yesterday, um, let me make mention of this great guy, um, remind me, our sound person, Bros. Eddie, good man, he helped us. God bless him. BJ Sachs facilitated, you know, uh, going to a cool hotel. Who else? Let me give thanks. And then all our ministers, Apostle Selman, Pastor Jerry, Pastor Pat, Pastor Tokwe, Pastor Benigo, my pastor, Pastor Ben! I dare say 
that if I didn't have that leadership in the time that I needed it, Nathaniel Bassi wouldn't be at this level. God gave my pastor the right leadership, you know, skill and, you know, requirement to lead me at the point that I, you know, transited. And I want to thank my wife. Let her come forward, come forward. Come, come, come. This is the last night. She's forcing me to get away for a few days. So I think tomorrow we are supposed to take a flight out. But I want to ask, I want to shift it for one day. <laughs> Please. You go ahead of me. Thank God for me. One day. <laughs> and then because we go, we're supposed to travel. And then um, the government of Antigua. Is inviting us, I think, over the weekend to blow over the nation, so I need to rest a bit. But I hear there's a storm there. Is the storm still there? Is, is it still there? Is it, is, yeah, no, I'm not Jesus. Amen. Amen. But he lives in me. We'll calm the storm. Amen. To blow. So we'll be blowing, we'll be going with the team, about 10, 11 of us. Please pray for us. As soon as the government invited us to come, they actually said they prayed and fasted and they were, it was like a Macedonian call to come. There was no storm all this while. Then the storm started to rage because, you know, just like Jesus wanted to cross to the, the other side to see the madman of Gadara, the storm. So pray for us. We need your prayer cover. We want to release heaven upon that nation. Amen. So I will thank my wife and the team. Celebrate these guys. The team, our volunteers, Ashroom online prayer team. Please pardon me. We need to give thanks. So, we, you know, we're almost done. But we thank all of these people. Uh, Minister Neji, Ima, oh my God. Um, Tokozo, they are flying right now. Dunsi Oyeko, Victoria Renze, Prophet, Prophet Tiffany. Do they still say prophetess these days? They still say it. Prophet, prophetess. This English will confuse people. They keep changing. Prophetess Tiffany Montgomery from North Carolina. Yes, and her team. We bless them. Thank you. We love you. We love you. And my children, you know. Amen. So, but the 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 link for the giving, put it up. If the Lord leads you. Um, there's a link that takes you to the page for the ministers and hallelujah challenge if you feel like giving please still go ahead i think you should give you know put your sacrifice and god will bless you you i'm sure you were at the festival and saw how your money was utilized you know you know it was well done so your money is well you well spent amen let's judge the medianites right now lift up your hands Go to that scripture in Judges 7. Lift up your right hand and put that scripture. Father, the Midianite spirit is the spirit that attacks the economy of your people. A cruel spirit attacking their livelihood, attacking their source of living their their joy their health right now as we sound this trumpet let the spirit of the Midianites and whatever they represent in our lives go down Amen. we sink them once and for all Amen. in the name of the Lord Jesus Amen. we sound this trumpet the Egyptians we see today, we shall see them no more. Yes. I declare over everyone watching and those we represent, the Egyptians you have seen today, you will see them no more. Yes. You shall see them no more. Yes. Walls of Jericho begin to fall down and your people begin to emerge and fulfill their prophetic destiny. In the name of Jesus. In your office, we judge the media night. In your families, we judge the media night. In Nigeria, we judge the media night. In the nations of the earth, we judge the media night. 
in your environment we judge the media night in your destiny we judge the media night in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit when we blow the trumpet you will shout great grace amen seven times are you ready father as your people shout let's experience a manifestation in the next seven days in jesus name destroy themselves that which has advanced your livelihood your source of life your joy your happiness your peace your marriage it goes down now open your mouth you have one minute father we bring judgment to the Midianite spirit in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach Yahweh about the Lord of hosts, reveal your glory. Yahweh Sabao, reveal your glory against the Midianites. Yahweh Sabao, Yahweh Sabao, Yahweh Sabao. I hear a name, Samson. Your name is Samson. The Midianites have arisen against you. The Lord of hosts has risen on your behalf. There is a Samson watching right now this is a confirmation the lord of hosts has scattered the midianites we scatter them they destroy themselves the spirit of the midianites every conspiracy as they come as a swarming locust when the enemy shall come like a flood the spirit of god shall raise a standard against them we drown the Midianites. We, we seek the Midianites. Thus far, no more. 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 Pray your understanding, not in tongues. The Midianites in your life have come to their wit's end. We judge them by the blood. The sword of the Lord is against them. The name of the Lord is against them. In the name of Jesus. Tonight marks the end of the medium nights in your life. Bishop, I declare the end of the medium night over your life. Begin to rise. Begin to rise. Begin to rise. We place a demand on the anointing on this altar. And we judge the media now. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Now you are going to pray for us. There is a principle that the devil operates is the principle of the backlash or the strategy of the backlash, such that after every victory like this, he comes to attack us. So one of the ways we learn to 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 offset that strategy of the devil every time we we finish the team stays back and even if for a few days we give god thanks i learned something that whoever takes the glory fights the battles so by thanksgiving we we give back the glory to god and then we deploy the ministry of the blood of jesus and we place a bloodline around us and our family sometimes if the devil can't touch us he wants to touch our loved ones or our interests and then we pray that no weapon that is formed against us shall prosper. Every tongue that rises up against, against us in judgment, we condemn. For this is the heritage of the servant of the Lord, and our righteousness is of him, seared the Lord. And also we declare that the enemy shall not exact upon us, neither shall the son of wickedness afflict us. So I want you to pray those prayers on our behalf. Stretch forth your hands. If we've been a blessing to you, if, we, if you think Hallelujah Challenge has helped and has blessed you, 
I need you to cover us, cover me, cover my wife, cover my children, cover this team, these young people, cover every minister. We'll give you three minutes. Please don't switch off now. Don't switch off. We've, we've stayed nights and nights ministering to the Lord and ministering to you. So please pray over us and cover us. Thank you very much. Offer thanksgiving on our behalf and plead the blood of Jesus. Pray from your heart. Please pray for us. We covet your prayers. That nothing shall be missing, nothing broken. We will not suffer any sort of loss. That God will plague those that hate us. That he continues to stand by us as a mighty, terrible warrior. Therefore, our persecutors shall see shame. Declare no weapon formed against us shall prosper. Declare that as we go from place to place, from one kingdom to other kingdoms, he will suffer no man to do us wrong. He will reprove kings for our sake, saying, Touch not my anointed, and do his prophets no harm. Pray over us. Ask that this grace would increase, the unction will increase, we will not be discouraged. God will bless our families, meet our needs, keep us on the straight and narrow path. Keep us holy, keep us pure, that we will not be distracted. We will not be overtaken by pride. No sickness will touch our body. That this great grace would increase in our lives. Please pray for us. We covet your prayers. Much more than your, your gifts, we appreciate those. But your prayers are the most important. Pray for me. Make mention of my name. Before the throne of heaven. Say, Lord, keep Pastor Nat. Bless him. Speak long life over us. I believe in the prayers of the saints. The church prayed for Peter. And the one who was to die was released supernaturally. Pray that there shall be no scandal ahead of us. No issues and stories of sudden death or afflictions. No divorce. No kidnapping. That we have set our hands on the plow, we will never look back. That his praise will continually be on our lips. And that God will raise many more people like us. Pray for every minister that's come here tonight. Imao, my God, tonight. Minister Neji, Femi Okunuga, who ministered with the choir, Sounds of Many Waters, Ntokozo, Dunsi, Victoria Renze, Prophet Tiffany, Pastor Bemigo, my pastor, Pastor Ben Akabweze. Apostle Selman, Pastor Jerry, Pastor Tokwe, Pastor Pat, Pastor Toby, Oinko, my wife, everyone who spoke one way or the other, that God will keep us in Jesus' mighty name. So we're going to connect to my pastor. Can we connect so we get the Father's blessing? Don't go. We're going to close out with the final trumpet blast and the after party. Put him on this screen so that those on Instagram will see him. Yes. Is there volume? He's connecting online. So please speak, Pastor. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise Lord, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> what a glorious season it has been. I'm sure that. If we were to vote, you know, as to whether or not Hallelujah Challenge should con con continue, the majority of people online will, without hesitation, vote for a continuation. But, you know, that reminds me of the, the you know, the story, you know, between the chicken and, and, and the pig, voting for whether men should continue to enjoy their breakfast of, of bacon and egg. You know? For us to have our breakfast of bacon and egg, the chicken is involved because he just lays the egg. But the pig is committed because the pig has to die for you to have bacon. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, 
So the rest of us are like the chicken. We will, were just involved. So we give time to log on. And so we will easily vote for this. But the personnel and the team, for them, they are committed, like the team, you know, for you to have bacon. And, 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 and so I just the first thing I just want us to do again, I know we've just prayed for them, but I just want us to thank them you know say thank them for the for you know for the sacrifice thank them for this for the for you know for the sacrifice that this has been it's been a great sacrifice these past you know weeks for them to do this to stay faithful to pray long hours the the, the, the strength and, and, and let's just say thank you to them and then let's thank god again let's thank god again for them let's thank god anew even for the vision you know of, of, of for this program and for obedience for obedience because this is the commitment that is required because of the commitment that is required it is easy it is easy for a man even to hear god and and when you ponder what it will take you ponder the commitment what you ponder what this whole thing entails to, to find an excuse not to run with the vision that is of the lord but that has not been the case with us let's thank god even for the grace of obedience that is upon this man of god and 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 and, and the entire team father we thank you we thank you we thank you we thank you lord oh god oh in this your children were saying thank you tonight lord oh god thank you precious lord blessed be your name forever in jesus name we give thanks then lift up your voice with me tonight and pray and say, Father, tonight as a congregation, tonight, O oh Lord, O oh God, as a family online across the nations of this earth, O oh God, in one accord, O oh Lord, Lord God Almighty, we, we lift up this personnel and the entire team, O oh God, to you. We ask, O oh Lord God Almighty, that you will keep them that you will preserve them, that you will protect them, that you will watch over them, that you will raise a standard for them, Lord, oh God, that no matter how and with what and by what the enemy comes against them, in vain, Lord, oh God, that the enemy rage against them. Mandebo sakataya likabosh kalyanda We agree, Lord, oh God, in one accord, Lord, oh God, that it is well with them that is the well it is well with their families it is well oh lord with their careers their businesses their ministries and all that concerns them in the name of jesus and so almighty and everlasting god i thank you for the victory oh god of this particular season of hallelujah challenge thank you almighty god first and foremost for every soul that was saved oh god for everyone, Lord, that answered, oh God, the altar call on this platform, Lord. My Father and my God, oh, what a harvest. I am sure it has been, Lord, oh God, for your kingdom. Lord, we pray for every single one of those souls saved, oh God, that none, oh God, none, none, Lord, oh God, shall return to the darkness from which you have called them into your marvelous life. We pray, Lord, oh God, that none will lose their salvation, that the enemy will not be able to snatch anyone back, Lord, oh God, that none shall return to their vomit. In the name of Jesus, thank you, precious Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, we thank you. We thank you, Lord, oh God, for every victory. Oh, Rikaba Santa Thank you for everyone for, that was healed, oh God. Father, we decree and declare that their healing is permanent in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, oh God, for the deliverances, oh God, for all those, oh God, who have been set free from bondage, from the captivity of the enemy lord oh god father we declare that they remain free in the name of jesus the enemy will no longer have them in the name of jesus 
from now on lord oh god ah they go free they walk in the freedom where with oh god you yourself have set them free lord Father, Lord Almighty, oh, Rikabo Salianda, every yoke that was destroyed, oh God, on this platform remains destroyed in the name of Jesus. Thank you for the awesome anointing that has, Lord, been upon this platform, Lord, from the men, the team, from all the men and women of God that have ministered the collective anointing, Lord, oh God, upon them. Father, Lord Almighty, every yoke there is no yoke, Lord, that is able to withstand this anointing. For by reason of the anointing, every yoke is destroyed, has been destroyed, and they remain destroyed in the name of Jesus. Lord, everyone and everything that has been judged on this platform remains judged in the name of Jesus. Everyone and everything that has been blessed on this platform is blessed in the name of jesus almighty and everlasting god every word of knowledge every word of wisdom every word of prophecy that came forth lord shall be established in the name of jesus oh marababa thank you for your spirit the spirit of prophecy that has been lord oh god at work these past weeks on this platform Baruka Bali, La Brande Bosunto, our Father and our God, we thank you, Lord, O God, even for the gates of marriages, O God, kingdom marriages, O Lord, that you have, that you have opened, O God. Lord God, we thank you. We stand ready, O God, for the celebrations, O God. Father, we pray, O Lord, we thank you even for strengthening, O Lord, of, of, of marriages, O God, of the kingdom marriages that already exist, O God, that they shall be an example, Lord, O God, even unto these ones, O God, who are about to enter into their own seasons of marriage. In the name of Jesus, our Father and my God, we just thank you, Lord, O God, for every miracle that you have worked, too numerous, that many, O oh Lord, testimonies that will remain unshared, O oh God. But Father, Lord Almighty, we know that you have done great and mighty things. We know that you have been awesome. We know that you have been wonderful. We know that you have been merciful. We know that you have been altogether beautiful and good towards your people. Our Father and our God, we come, Lord, O oh God, with a heart of thanksgiving. We come, Lord, O oh God, to say thank you. Thank you, thank you, and thank you. Thank you, thank you, and thank you again. Lord, we pray that if Jesus tarries, oh God, oh, your son, Pastor Nath, oh God, and the team, Lord, oh God, will do this yet again, and the next edition will be even more glorious in the name of Jesus. Thank you, precious Lord. Blessed be your name forever. For in Jesus' mighty name, we pray. And the people of God say a loud Amen. People around the world, help me thank God my pastor. Say thank you, pastor, thank you, Pastor Ben. We love you, Pastor Ben. Amen. Thank love you, you too. for loving Nathaniel Bassi. Amen. Okay, please, very quickly um, on giving. I'm still getting information on giving and people seem to misunderstand they feel that i don't want to you know receive gifts and you know so people are literally hounding me let me explain my consecration is that i will not i don't want people to be manipulated to give let me over the years i've done ministry and sometimes i see things in ministry that i feel you know it's not just right now because of the gift that we have, the anointing is very strong. Even the music gift. Okay? So from time to... I used to go to minister somewhere. And when I'm done ministering and everybody is happy and high, then the pastors will tell me, please raise an offering. I always feel... I feel that, you know, we shouldn't take advantage of the emotions of the people. Let people not be... Um, compelled and manipulated in any way the new testament giving is freely say freely so and because of that i know that if i finish leading praise and worship and i flash my account number you 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 would i will make stupendous money but 
Money is not everything. I won't be fulfilled there. And over the years, I've been trained to be discreet with money. So, but we want people to give because they are led. So even when, you know, people say we want to give to you, we take time also to say, okay, Lord, is this something we should take? So let me explain that. It's not that I don't want you to bless us, but we want you, we have a process. Okay. So um, first for the ministers, what we've said to do, um, you go to hallelujahchallengelife.com. We believe that you should honor God's servant. And by the way, Prophet Tiffany, do we have permission to publish details for ministry? I have people. Yeah. Okay, so how do they give to your ministry? How are we going to do that? No, 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 no. We, we have to honor that. So please, you give by accounts. Okay. So we believe in that and that's why we we encourage you to give and many times people say to us how can we bless the ministers and we don't want to have that routed through us so it doesn't get missing in the account so we ask you to give so we publish their details so when you go to hallelujahchallengelive.com hallelujahchallengelive.com and click on the menu you will find you know headers like give to ministers when you go there you look at the ministers on the drop box click you know um for instance you find my pastor you find get details to give to pastor ben when you click there his details show up and then you send your prophet offering to them there's that for apostle selman and every minister so but for for those who want to be a blessing to us personally me there's something called pn partnership you click on it there's just a small form you know i just like to have details stored you know you know, we look through just a few questions and then the team would supply you the details. So it's just the procedure for us to make things a bit more orderly. You know, the Bible says, let all things be done what decently and in order. So I thought to explain that because I have a lot of inquiries on that. Please go ahead and bless God's ministers. It is it's a major principle in the kingdom. Amen. Thank you so much for joining. And we'll blow the trumpet already. So let's just sing Jesus here for three minutes. Okay. So get ready for Hallelujah Challenge 2024. If God wills, amen.
God says he's sending you grain, new wine, olive oil, enough to satisfy you fully. Never again will he make you an object of scorn to nations. Anointed my hands with oil, stretch forth your hands towards the camera by faith and put it upon your head. You are anointed for increase. You are anointed for kingdom wealth. You are anointed for dominion. God bless you. See you in 2024. Bye-bye.